Are you ready to lose your girl to a robot? Are you ready to lose your girl to a robot that speaks every language, knows all the date spots, and knows everything about your girl before she even know? Can we talk about it? And then y'all try to fight the robots. You can't even beat the robots because the robots know all forms of kung fu, jujitsu, and everything. So apparently by 2025, women are going to be doing more nasty things with robots than they doing now. And this makes perfect sense because they already got the robes. They got the, the garden and all of these other toys that they've been using, all right? So again, I can see women naturally progressing to a robot imagine you go see your girl you think she cheating on you with a robot and the robot is texting her dm is texting her in blue and green the robot can text in iphone and android how you gonna beat that bro and you i told you you can't fight the robot the robot know every form of kung fu new jitsu everything so you can't beat the robot and a robot again the robot's stronger than you the robot gonna lift your whole car up and throw you while you in the car so again you what are we gonna do y'all really making it hard for regular men to just be regular men out here no more more. Like, how am I compete with a robot? And the robot gonna get flat. The robot gonna have a new pally pally on. How you gonna beat the again? The robot already got all the money in his head. The robot could just take stuff. The robot gonna be the ultimate scammer. A lot of y'all gonna be dating the scammer robots. I see y'all girl talking about can you give me a bottle of Don Julio? The robot's gonna go <laughs> inside the liquor store and just be like swipe, tap. The robot's gonna tap his forehead. And it's gonna be good, it's gonna pay. Now, I mean, how you I can't compete against a robot. Some of y'all already broke boys, y'all can't even compete against regular men. So how you gonna compete with robot? All right, it's hard out here, all right? The robot gonna be getting the robot chain, robot overlord, and again, you're not gonna step to the robot. Cause the robot again, the robot is gonna it could jump 90 feet in the air and lift 30 times its weight. So what you want me to do, ladies? All right. Can, can y'all just go back to regular meeting people outside and regular dates and not have this robot obsession? We already be spending most of our lives in digital atmospheres. We on every app all day long, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And now the, the, imagine you let you go to your crib and a robot in there with your girl, Keller, Keller on joint. Killer her to join. You like the rope. Then the robot goes super speed. You can't compete with that. The robot got unlimited stamina. What you want me to do? I'm, I'm going to need seven honey packets just to compete with the robot. And the robot just going to switch a little switch and turn on the super freaky robot. Can we talk about it? Like, imagine really losing your girlfriend to Wally. Wally laid up in the bed. And you, again, and this dead 2,000 pound robot. But can we not? I, let me see what are y'all ladies cuddling with a robot. Talking about this, my man. This, my man. Bernard, it's a robot. His name Bernard. Bernard be like, you better call me Bernard, bro. And the robot just lift you 9,000 feet in the air and then his eyes turn red. I'm good on that, all right? And I already see that women got the robe. She got this, she got that. She got she got a whole latex outfit somewhere in her closet. Bro, you already can't compete with the high drive that they have now. So now I gotta compete with robots? Bro. <sighs> Well, what you want us to do, ladies? Like, again, and then the robot's gonna outspin you anyway. The robot's just gonna tap. The robot's already automatically got American Express numbers in his head. Y'all really gonna be dating or <laughs> scamming robots. Talking about this, is my boo, but no, nah, he got it. But no, I was like, I had it for everybody. We're lit. The robot gets more lit. And then the robot's going to be up all night. It's going to take her around the world. It's going to hijack planes. It's going to hijack cars. It's going to communicate with the Tesla. Like, baby, we're getting in the Tesla. Okay, she got that good, good, that wet, wet. <laughs> she has that wet, wet. Again, how am I going to be with that? The robot killing her, killing your girl. You go in there, the robot on super speed. You like, what am I doing? How am I going to compete with the Terminator? I'm going to have to become half cyborg. I told you, the only way we're going to be able to compete with robots is if we become half cyborg ourselves. And again, I get the wings. I need some metal wings that I can take off. Though I need the robot attachments. I don't want to go too robot, too cyborg. I just need some attachments like Iron Man. Make me more like Tony Stark. Give me the Tony Stark joint, all right? Then I can compete. But I'm again, because, yeah, you, you, she in there with cyborg talking about this is my new man. Who are you? I know you. And it just scan you. The robot look you up and down. It's scanning you, your biometrics and all of that, bro. Oh, come on. I, I, I can't compete with this, bro. The robot's like, he's weak. His vitals are trash. <laughs> is this your man's? Whose man's is this? Get him. And then I see some of y'all ladies, especially y'all high professional ladies that don't want to deal with a man and tired of broke boys. You're going to get a robot because you paid for him. Talk about this is my man. I paid for him out the Tesla factory. Again, I can't. This future is getting real weird. And this is really becoming a weird future. And this, it don't even say 2029. We really, 2025 is next year. Two months from now, 2025. October is over. 
So really, we are in the Jetson future. So I really see this happening. And I see, I can't wait to see some lady talking about love after robot lockdown or something. Some reality show, loving a robot. I should make one. Can we talk about it?